Hey guys, so to start off we skipped over a few steps in this video, but you can watch my other video to see how I lay my cap style to prepare for a frontal or to just prepare for a wig. I'm going to insert a clip of the client's hairline. She had a small forehead with a low hairline. Well anyway, we're going to get right into it. I applied three layers of Bold Hope glue, then I just applied the full lace wig on her head creating a meltdown. Make sure you pluck that lace as best as possible. You don't want to pluck too much being that she has a low hairline, but you don't want to pluck too little where it just looks unnatural. So make sure you pluck your, the best way you can. I'm going in and I'm applying some more boho glue to the spaces that are lifting that I didn't apply any glue to. But as you can see, I'm checking all my spots to make sure that there is no more lift in this wig. Now, to cut the lace, I'm using my favorite small scissors, like these scissors. I don't even know where I got them from. Maybe the beauty spot store. I don't know what they use for naturally, but I use them to cut the lace off my clients. Um, make sure you be very careful when cutting the lace because this is someone's head, okay? This is someone's head. Hairstylists be getting too crazy, but let me let you know. Don't. Just be careful. Anyway, so we're going to go in and we're going to cut carefully we're going to cut around the edge and if you see any extra lace that's stuck to glue you can go in with using alcohol to lift up that lace and then you could just cut off the perimeter So my client will be having no baby hair to this look, like none at all. She wanted some, but I was like, listen girl, we do not need any baby hair down on your eyebrows. Like it's not going to be okay. Well anyway, we're going to go in and we're going to wrap her head and set it in the little dryer under cool for about 10 minutes and then she's going to come up from under the dryer and we're just going to cut that wrap off. So after you cut your wrap off, then you can style her hair up. I'm leaving her hair straight and I'm leaving it with no baby hairs. The most I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of sideburns to her as you saw and then that's about it.
finished look you guys I hope you like it I love this install this might be one of my favorites because it has no baby hairs even though I love the whole baby hair look sometimes it does get overwhelming for some clients and I suggest if you don't know how to do them then don't get them that's it but I hope you guys like it like comment and subscribe.